Alright, so chapter 5 came out and there are a few things to talk about. It starts off with Rohan tying up and knocked out Usagi and Paco, while he also calls the police to report a crime. You can tell that Dragona is still very confused and shocked at the situation. This leads me to believe that Dragona has probably never fought another stand user before. But the first noteworthy thing that happened is that Rohan referred to the cash that Paco earlier stole coming back to him. Dragona also remarks on that. What does this mean exactly? Dragona then tries to pick up the diamond again, but this time it ends up in a mug on the other side of the room. This is really weird, but I think I have a theory on why this happens. And I'll explain it later as we like go on with the chapter, what I actually think the reason is why the diamond and the money is coming back to Roha. And it's probably not gonna be the diamond itself, but it's gonna be something else that we've seen in an earlier chapter that is causing these weird things to happen. But yeah, after that Jodio fights and beats Rohan. In my opinion, the fight was a bit rushed. I expected it to go on a little longer. I also didn't expect Jodio to beat Rohan, but I'm fine with that. My only problem lies at the length of the fight. That doesn't mean it's bad, it's just a subjective preference. Rohan describes the rain as having lots of weight. This gives us a bit more information about Jodio's stand. He also says that being captured by himself would have been better for them, and that what happens next will put them in even greater danger. He finishes that warning by telling them that they are being followed. Jojo then switches up and tries to reaffirm the group, saying how today is a good day and such. He tries to get Rohan to not reveal their identities to the police. And he does that by using the lava rocks that were locked up in the same safe as the diamond, saying how he would destroy them. And he actually does end up destroying one of them. In a past review I also said how the lava rocks are probably the same value or maybe even worth more than the diamonds, because Rohan kept them in the same safe. But now the most interesting part happens. Rohan calls Jodio back to him. He says that with that lava rock a certain responsibility comes as well. He should by no means let go of that rock. And this is gonna tie back to the scene I mentioned earlier at the start of the chapter why these things are coming back to Rohan or you know to the place where Rohan is approximately, you know what I mean? But let's read a little further before I give my own input. If he handles that with care, he'll be able to become filthy rich, just as Jodia wanted. Rohan also refers to the mechanism and that a law of nature lies within that rock. You can really tell that Jodia is absorbing those words, because they are similar to what he himself has said in the first chapter. Considering that Jodia is a big fan of Rohan's work, is it possible that he took parts of his ideology from Rohan's works? Words like mechanism as example, that would explain why both of them would not Know what that means after all. So coming back to my theory, I think the lava rock might be like a money magnet tool kind of, or like a wealth magnet kind of. Whoever is in possession of it will get rich basically, will get things of great value. And this is the reason why later on why Paco is able to pick up the diamond now, because Jodio is in possession of the lava rock. So. It's possible that the lava rock has some sort of intelligence that it can almost tell who owns it and with who that person is with. That's why Paco was able to carry on to the diamond, you know? Even though he wasn't the one holding the lava rock, the lava rock knew that they are both in the same team kinda. It's very weird, but that might be an explanation as to what these lava rocks actually do. Like, they're just money magnets or like wealth magnets, basically. If you remember in the last chapter, Rohan also read Usagi, Paco and Dragona with his stand, Heaven's Door. So he actually warns Jodio by saying that he can't trust them. In my opinion, this is a rocky foreshadowing a betrayal. It's hard for me to imagine Dragona betraying Jodio, you know, since they're siblings. But I do find it likely that Paco and Usagi might betray them. At the end of the chapter you can see that Usagi stole a drawing made by Rohan and he asks Jodio how much it is worth. Jodio is shocked by it, which obviously means it would be worth a lot, you know? I believe this will be a setup for the next chapter actually and not just a funny little gag. I believe that the drawing is somehow gonna end up in Jodio's possession. Because he is the one holding onto the lava rock and whoever owns it will receive riches. What do you think? Big shout out to Duty for the background drawing, to Cullen for coloring the thumbnail and to the Chromaverse team. See you guys next time.